This program is brought to you by the Vegetarian Society of Hawaii, a nonprofit organization dedicated to sharing with the community the many benefits of a vegetarian diet. Free monthly meetings include vegetarian experts found locally and on the mainland, quick and easy cooking demonstrations, and healthful and delicious food samples. Members enjoy an informative quarterly newsletter, social activities, and discounts at many vegetarian-friendly restaurants and health food stores. For an application, call 944-8344. That's 944-8344. Or visit our website at www.vsh.org. vsh.org. We've continued to promote human health, animal rights, and protection of the environment by means of vegetarian education. If you're not yet a member, please sign up tonight and you can start receiving our informative newsletter as well as some great discounts at some veggie friendly, a lot of veggie friendly restaurants and at Down to Earth and perhaps other natural food stores as well. Thanks to all of you who made donations tonight. You help to make events like this possible. Be sure to stay afterwards and have some delicious vegan refreshments courtesy of Down to Earth. You can also go to our website, vsh.org, that's vsh.org, to see videos of many of our previous presentations. You'll also find there lots of other great information, including some wonderful recipes, our famous restaurant guide, past newsletters, and even a link to our new Facebook page. It's now time for our special guest. We're delighted to have with us tonight Dana Lyons. Dana Lyons is a singer, songwriter, best known for his dynamic performances and outrageous hit songs, Cows with Guns, RV, and Ride the Lawn. Cows and Guns was number one for the year on Dr. Demento, number two on the Australian country car charts, number one in Seattle, and it spent six months on the Irish Top 40. Bringing together a mix of comedy, ballads, and love songs, Dana's sharp wit and beautiful voice have been performing at concerts, festivals, conventions, fundraisers, and universities across the U.S. and around the world. He has seven releases to date, including his latest two, Circle the World, Songs and Stories with Dr. Jane Goodall, and Ride the Lawn. This evening, he will present Cows with Guns, Vegetarian Music and Comedy. Please welcome our special guest, Dana Lyons. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Really a pleasure to be here, and thank you so much for this beautiful flower lay. I'm gonna... Oh, God. I love these things. I've only, this is my first time in Hawaii, and I've only seen these on television, and I'm so happy they're real. <laughs> Well, again, my name is Dana Lyons, and I want to thank the Vegetarian Society of Hawaii for bringing me here. This is my third performance with the Vegetarian Society. I played in Kauai last week in Maui a couple of nights ago, and I'm happy to be here in Honolulu for the first time. And I live in Bellingham, Washington, where it's slightly colder than here. Very happy to be here. This first song is called Willie Says, and Bellingham is on Lummi Indian territory, uh, part of the Lummi Nation, or the Salish people who populate Washington, Oregon, British Columbia. And the song is about Willie Cooper, who was an old friend of mine. She passed on about 15 years ago, but she was a, a great optimist, a tribal elder and leader, and had a great sense of humor. Willie 
says Here's a story that you may not comprehend But the parking lot will crack and bloom again There's a world beneath the pavement that will never end The seeds are lying dormant, it will never end Willie says If you listen you can hear the sound of birds Hear their song above the chaos Hear their words Listen to their love song that will never end The seeds are lying dormant it will never end If you listen you may hear And the old one sits with me above the city While I watch the madness of the world below Then she laughs and tells me that it's temporary Underneath the wild garden waits to grow Willie says When you say you are afraid I understand In a place where one can rarely smell the land But the ocean breeze still blows here that will never end The seeds are lying dormant it will never end Willie says If you listen to this tree you'll hear its song It's the music that my people pass along It's a dream that keeps returning that will never end The seeds are lying dormant it will never end If you listen you may hear And the old one sits with me above the city While I watch the madness of the world below Then she laughs and tells me that it's temporary Underneath the wild garden waits to grow Willie says Here's a story that you may not comprehend But the forest here will rise and bloom again There's a world beneath the pavement that will never end The seeds are lying dormant it will never end Listen to their love song that will never end It's a dream that keeps returning that will never end never end never end never end never end And Willie says Oh Willie says Will they say he 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 he's Will they say he 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 he's Will they say he 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 Thank you. Can you hear the words okay? I want to thank 
for Norman for lending me his guitar. I'm, I've been here in Hawaii for six weeks, and I'm traveling with a little backpacking guitar. And since we're on TV tonight, I thought it might be nice to have a lovely guitar. This is a sing-along, and your part goes like this. We eat like animals We dance like animals We love like animals Hey, we all are animals We all are animals The reptiles have some class They slither about in the grass They like it when the weather's dump They party deep in the swamp they got smooth and shiny scales, long tongues and longer tails. Ooh. Can I see some reptiles out there? The birds do it all with their beaks. They eat and they clean and they speak. Their wings take them high in the air. And who knows what they do up there? They've got dances that can't be beat. With their feathers and rubber feet Tweet, tweet Can I hear some birds out there? I, I, I knew we'd have some sophisticated birders here I, I had that feeling The insects have some pride. They wear their skeletons outside. They can live anywhere, hot or cold, they do not care. With antennas and many eyes, they eat, reproduce, and they die. <clears throat> A good life. All right, this next verse is the mammal verse. How many mammals do we have here tonight? Raise your hand if you're a mammal. Uh, that's a good solid 54% mammals. I, I get large turnouts of mammals at my shows. The mammals are a wild bunch. They eat each other for lunch. They got fur as soft as silk. They feed their babies milk. They sing all the latest tunes. At night they howl at the moon. Oh! Finally, I have said something intelligent for the, our friend in the, the third row. He's a vegan dog. <laughs> a vegan dog. <laughs> that sounded so good in this room, and it may be the only sing-along we get to do. What, what, what's our friend's name? Thun, Thundar. Thundar the Barbarian. Let's try that one more time so we can go with Thundar the Barbarian. So this, <laughs> this reminds me of one of, I have a very interesting job, <laughs> and one of the great moments <laughs> in my performing career, I was requested to sing at the Seattle Dog Walk, and it was 400 people and their 800 dogs, <laughs> and I saw an opportunity to sing this song. 
And I got to the howl, and it was amazing. There was like a thousand, twelve hundred of us. I, I want to cut this with a video doing that. I got to get organized and play at the next dog walk. I could retire just doing dog walks. It was so funny. <laughs> The fish dig a whole nother scene. Their whole world is aquamarine. Some are thin and some are fat. Some of their faces are flat. They take transatlantic trips. They do strange things with their lips. Ew. Can I see some fish lips out there? <laughs> but let's not forget the plants. The plants have a so much fun. They don't eat anyone. They just soak up of the sun. They rub their branches in the breeze. Dandelions tickle the trees. Oh, I am an animal. You are an animal. We both are animals. We eat like animals. We dance like animals. We smell like animals. Hey, we all are animals. We all are animals. I am an animal. I am an animal. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you, Thunderbar the Barbarian. <laughs> I would like to now play you my one rap song. This is called Recycle Rap, spelled W-R-A-P. <clears throat> Wiggy wiggy, I was walking on the beach on top of the world when I caught eyes with a beautiful girl. I walked up to her with a can in my hand and threw the pop can into the garbage can. She said, hey boy, what'd you do that for? When you throw things away, you've got to make more. Recycle, reuse again and again. That's the only way you're going to be, my friend. Recycle, recycle, rip, rip. Rip, recycle. Recycle cans, recycle glass, recycle at home, recycle in class, reduce your garbage of every kind, reuse everything, reuse your mind, recycle, recycle. Rip, 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 recycle. Rip, rip, rip. To Wiggy Wiggy. Well, I felt a little pale and I felt a little thinner, so I said, Hey, recycler, I'll take you out to dinner. She said, I'm in a vegetarian mood. I'd like a little vegetarian fast food. I said, I know the perfect place for you. They got cashew burgers with a slice of tofu. But when the man at the counter said styrofoam or paper, recycling girl says, We don't want neither. Reduce, deuce, 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 reduce, deuce, 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 deuce. Then she pulls out her own plate and a mug, gave it to the man and said, Fill this. Up, I want a soy milkshake with a lot of banana and a napkin for me. She says, Use your bandana, recycle, recycle, rip, 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 recycle, recycle cans, recycle glass, recycle at home, recycle in class, reduce your garbage of every kind, reuse everything, reuse your mind, recycle, recycle, rip, 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 recycle. Do good, 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 do good,
ticket, 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 wiggy, wiggy. So I said, hey, recycler, let's talk about love. She says, first, I think you better join my club. There's a club for the dolphins, a club for the trees, a club for the birds, and a club for the bees. If you want to stick with me, you've got to be a doer. You can't drink the water when the river is a sewer. You're getting nothing done just sitting in the bleachers. We got to play hard to save the other creatures. The earth is our home. The earth is our mother. Yes, I'm talking to you, sisters, and I'm talking to you, brothers. If you want a healthy place to meet a boy or girl, you better dance. Recycle, work to save the world, you better dance. Recycle, work to save the world, you better dance. Recycle, work to save the world. Recycle, a recycle. Rip, a rip, a rip, a recycle. Wiggy, wiggy. Thank you. One of the great honors of my life has been able, I've been able to work with Dr. Jane Goodall on her uh, youth activist program called Roots and Shoots. Some of you may be familiar with that. Roots and Shoots is all over the world, and they might be school groups or family groups or religious groups or any kind of a club. And the main rule with Roots and Shoots is that each group works on three projects, and one project is for the animals, and one project is for the environment, and one project is for the people and social justice. It's a lovely coalition, and one of the things I like most about it is each group decides which projects they're going to work on. They decide what's most needed in their community or what they're interested in the most, and of course they have Jane Goodall as a, an amazing mentor. But I, I met Jane and I saw her speak, and I sing at the Roots and Shoots gatherings, and I, I saw her speak in North Carolina in Chapel Hill, and she was telling about this project she does with the United Nations. Jane was made a United Nations messenger of peace, and she takes this honor very seriously. And when she was made a messenger of peace, she learned that there is a United Nations World Peace Day, which is on September 21st of every year. And she had never heard of that. She said, if we're going to have a, a holiday like that, we should have some kind of a celebration that everyone can take part in. And she came up with this idea of uh, making giant peace dove puppets and they're made out of old bed sheets and chicken wire and sticks. Those are materials that can be found in even the poorest of countries. And they're the, the peace doves are about 15 to 20 feet wide in diameter. They take about six people to hold them. And depending on your skill level, they can take a few hours to a day to make. But if you're interested in that, making one of those, you can find the directions at janegoodall.org but there's already last year there were over 4,000 giant peace dove puppets uh, marching in September in over 40 countries so it's happening and I, I'm sure there were some marching here in Hawaii so during her talk in North Carolina she, she, was, she said and someday there will be so many people marching with giant peace dove puppets all over the world that you'll be able to see a ring of white around the earth from space by a satellite. And I heard that and I just went, whoa, that is like the biggest vision I have ever heard. And I'm a bit of a math person, so I thought I'd figure it out if it was doable. And so I figured, okay, it's about 24,000 miles around the earth. 5,280 feet per mile. Each piece of is about 15, 20 feet long. I've slept on top of the Great Wall of China, which is about 20 feet wide, and that's, that used to be the only human-made structure that was visible from outer space, so I know that's wide enough to be visible from outer space. So speaking of which, happy uh, Chinese New Year tonight and happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. So I did the math, and I was like, oh, wow, that would only take about 580 million people to circle the world, which is 
a bit under 10% of our population. I go, oh, that's, 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 that's doable. That's doable. So after Jane had finished speaking and signed several thousand books, I went up to her and I said, hey, Jane, you know, your idea about circling the globe with the peace stubs, this is entirely doable. I, I did the math. And she goes, of course it's entirely doable. And we're going to do it. And we need you to write a song about it. <laughs> so so I, I write most of my songs. I take songwriting sabbaticals and go camp by the sea or in the forest for a few weeks. And on this songwriting outing, I went, okay, this song's for Jane Goodall. I need a good one. And fortunately, she liked this song. And we, we have a, an album together named after this song called Circle the World. Jane tells six stories about chimpanzees and peace and uh, sandhill cranes and other things. And I sing six related songs. But here's the tune. What if we could circle the world Flying peace doves beneath the sun Giant twenty-foot wings of fabric That are handmade by everyone Once a year we circle the world Saying ain't it time to bury the guns Our time has come And we have begun To circle the world It's a dream and it's a vision It's a prayer that we may see When every person, every creature Will be treated with dignity When every war will be a memory We never shall repeat Our time has come and we have begun to circle the world. What if we could circle the world flying peace doves beneath the sun? What if we could circle the world flying peace doves beneath the sun? Giant 20 foot wings of fabric that are handmade for everyone. A giant 20 foot wings of fabric that are handmade by everyone. Once a year we circle the world saying it's time to bury the guns. Once a year we circle the world saying ain't it time to bury the guns. Our time has come and it has begun to circle the world. Time has come and we have begun to circle the world. It's a parade and it's a party, giant puppets with many drums. It's a song with many rhythms that is sung in many tongues. It's a giant snake dance in every country beneath the sun. Our time has come and we have begun to circle the world. What if we could circle the world? What if we could circle the world Flying peace doves beneath the sun Giant 20-foot wings of fabric that are handmade Giant 20-foot wings of fabric That are handmade by everyone Once a year we circle the world Once a year we circle the world Saying ain't it time to bury the guns Our time has come and we have begun to circle the world Our time has come And we have begun To circle the world Thank you. Thank you. I, 
I met Jane Goodall at a chimposium in Ellensburg, Washington, at Central Washington University. There's a chimpanzee sanctuary there, and some of the chimpanzees there are veterans of the Air Force. And if, if you're familiar with uh, Apollo uh, space history, s before they sent uh, human beings up into space, they sent chimpanzees, and some of the, ch the chimpanzees are still alive. And uh, they live about as long as we do. Um, there's not too many of them left. They're getting up there. I think the oldest ones are like 70. But they took us on a tour, and we went in little groups of, you know, groups of 10, 12 people. And I was lucky enough to be in Jane's, Jane Goodall's group when we were going to see the chimpanzees. And <clears throat> we walked in, and probably the space that the chimpanzees were in was probably two-thirds of this space. And there was a big plexiglass window because... Chimpanzees are, are dangerous to us. They're very strong. There was a, a male chimpanzee way in the back who Jane had not seen for eight years. And we walk in, and that chimpanzee looks up from the back and sees Jane Goodall and rushes up to the plexiglass, and Jane rushes up to the plexiglass, and these chimpanzees can speak American Sign Language so they can communicate. And there's Jane and the, chi and the chimpanzee. And you, you could tell what they were saying. You could, you could tell the chimpanzee was going, Jane Goodall, how the hell are you, girl? Where have you been all these years? Blah, 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 blah. And they're going, they're talking. And, and we're just like, it's like being in a National Geographic special. It was like incredible. And we're just like, wow, look at this. And, and they're going and they're going and they're going. And we're just wrapped watching. And I don't know, five, six minutes go by and they're deep in conversation. And we're just watching. And there's a volunteer tour guide who's taking us around. And the tour guide says, okay, it's, it's time for us to move on to station B. And I'm thinking, whoa, she's going to interrupt Jane Goodall talking to a chimpanzee. And I'm thinking, I, God, I wonder if she knows who this is, you know. And Jane and the chimpanzee just keep talking. I don't know if she heard or not, but we're, we're looking at each other. We're going, well, we're not going anywhere if Jane's not going anywhere. So we just kind of sit there. Another two minutes go by, and the tour guide goes, it's... It's about time to move on to station B. And I was like, whoa. Interrupting the foremost primatologist in the world, having a conversation with a chimpanzee. And, and Jane doesn't move. And they're, they're no, 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 no. So I'm like, oh, well. It's another two minutes go by. It's time to move on to station B. And I was like, whoa, she's getting stern with Jane Goodall. And what happens? The chimpanzee stands up, walks over to Station B, and waits for Jane Goodall <laughs> to come over so they can continue their conversation. <laughs> and I was like, okay, who, who is training who? <laughs> There's a parrot in New York City that can speak 800 words of English that you can have a conversation with. And, and Dr. Jane Goodall was instrumental in opening up our, cult, our culture's eyes. It's, it's really rocked my world. It, it takes a lot longer to get anywhere when you're saying hello to everybody, too, if you're walking through the woods. But it's a, it's a, good, it's a nice way to live. It's a lot less lonely chatting it up with the different creatures. Fat and docile, big and dumb. They look so stupid, they aren't much fun. Cows aren't fun. They eat to grow, grow to die, 
die to be et at the hamburger fry. Cows well done. Nobody thunk it. Nobody knew. No one imagined the great cow guru. Cows are one. He hid in the forest, read books with great zeal. He loved Che Guevara, a revolutionary veal. Cow say tongue. He spoke about justice, but nobody stirred. He felt like an outcast alone in the herd. Cow doll drum. He moved we must fight. Escape or we'll die. Cows gathered around because the stakes were so high. Bad cow pun. <laughs> But then he was captured, stuffed into a crate, loaded onto a truck where he rode to his fate. Cows are bum. He was a scrawny calf who looked rather woozy. No one suspected he was packing an Uzi. Cows with guns. They came with a needle to stick in his thigh. He kicked for the groin. He peed in their eye. Cow well hung. Knocked over a tractor and ran for the door. Six gallons of gas flowed out on the floor. A run, cows run. He picked up a bullhorn and jumped up on the hay. We are free roving bovines. We run free today. We will fight for bovine freedom and hold our large heads high. We will run free with the buffalo or die. Cows with guns. All right, that's the sing along part. Here we go. We will fight for bovine freedom. We will fight for bovine freedom and hold our large heads high and hold our large heads high. We'll run free with the buffalo. We will run free with the buffalo or die. <laughs> Cows with guns. They crashed the gate in a great stampede, tipped over a milk truck, torched all the feed. Cows have fun. Sixty police cars were piled in a heap, covered in cow pies, covered up deep. Much cow dung. Black smoke rising, darkening the day. Twelve burning McDonald's. Have it your way. We will fight for bovine freedom and hold our large heads high and hold our large heads high. We'll run free with the buffalo. We will run free with the buffalo or die. <laughs> Cows with guns. The president said, "Enough is enough. These uppity cattle. It's time to get tough." Cow dung flung. The newspapers gloated. Folks sighed with relief. Tomorrow at noon, they would all be ground beef. Cows on buns. The cows were surrounded. They waited and prayed. They mooed their last moos. They chewed their last hay. Cows outgunned. The order was given to turn cows to whoppers, enforced by the might of ten thousand coppers. But on the horizon, surrounding the shoppers, came the deafening roar of chickens in choppers. 
We will fight for bovine freedom and hold our large heads high. We will run free with the buffalo or die. Oh, 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 oh. That's right, cows with guns. Thank you. Thank you. How many people here are familiar with the Sea Shepherd, the, the boat? So the, the Sea Shepherd, it's on Animal Planet now. There's a TV, reality TV show about the Sea Shepherd. And uh, the Sea Shepherd is a boat that goes around trying to protect whales and dolphins and marine life. It's an offshoot of Greenpeace. And I got to sail on the Sea Shepherd one summer on their tuna dolphin campaign the tuna boats would set their nets around dolphins because for some reason the, the dolphins, the tuna swim right below the dolphins, I think because they're all fishing for the same fish. So they go around together. But the, it was a horribly sad thing is when you set the net around the dolphins, the, the, the adult dolphins can easily leap over the corks to get out of there. But the adult dolphins will not leave their babies. So they were killing millions of dolphins. It was horrible. So we went out there, and we were going to try to put the nose of the boat in the uh, net and push the, push the net down and release the dolphins. And We never got to do that, that trip, but uh, the action we did was to draw attention to the issue. We uh, went from Key West, Florida, down through the Panama Canal over to the west coast of Costa Rica. And uh, while we were there decided to, uh, seven of our women crew mates went and chained themselves to the anchor chain of this tuna boat that was about to leave. And so it was very scary, because if they had pulled the anchor, these women would have been killed. And so we were circling this tuna boat in the Sea Shepherd, and we had purchased a really large water cannon from the uh, British Navy surplus. And we had this water cannon trained on their five million dollar helicopter and we were going to knock it into the sea if they were going to try to move and so it was it was tense and I was I was working in the engine room and it was a big old boat and it was it was scary it was very scary knowing my uh, friends were out there but the way it turned out was very unexpected to me at least what happened was the crew of the tuna boat was thrilled to have seven women chained to their anchor chain. <laughs> and they made them tea. And they climbed down the anchor chain and t made them tea and brought some Zodiac or sober and they brought down beer. And pretty soon they'd cook them dinner. And we're like looking out there going, they're having a party down there. <laughs> Which was a relief. It was, it was very funny. The captain of the tuna boat was furious and he ordered his men back up on ship and they're like, no. <laughs> Forget it, we're having fun. <laughs> and so finally, we released the boat in exchange for them telling where the rest of the fleet was. But uh, that was a fascinating adventure. But this is a song I wrote uh, for the Sea Shepherd. And I'll, I'll teach you the chorus when we get to it. So we sail the oceans, the earth from end to end, for the whales and dolphins and all our water friends, to protect life's beauty, we do what we must do on the proud sea shepherd we defend the ocean blue so we sail the ocean so we sail the ocean 
heavens, the earth from end to end, the earth from end to end, for the whales and dolphins and all water friends, for the whales and dolphins and all our water friends, to protect life's beauty, we do what we must do, to protect life's beauty, we do what we must do, on the proud sea shepherd, we defend the ocean blue, on the proud sea shepherd, we defend the ocean blue. On the ice floes of Newfoundland, the snow was stained with blood. For the dead baby harp seals that fur traders killed with clubs. So the new sea shepherds broke ice and moved ahead. They confront the seal boats and painted white seals red the pirate ship Sierra for years had slaughtered whales no government would stop her or halt her bloody trail so across the Atlantic, the shepherd tracked them down, and they rammed the Sierra and chased them into town. So we sail, so we sail the oceans, the earth from men to end. For the whales and dolphins, all water friends, for the whales and dolphins and all our water friends to protect life's beauty we do to protect life's beauty we do what we must do on the proud on the proud sea shepherd we defend the ocean blue came the word from Iceland, they defy the wailing band. So to brave sea shepherds went north to take a stand. And they found two whale boats unguarded and unlocked. So they opened up the sea cocks and sank them at the dock. The dolphins of Florida, the earth from men to end, for the whales and dolphins, for the whales and dolphins and all our water friends, to protect life's beauty, to protect life's beauty, we do what we must do on the proud, on the proud sea shepherd, we defend the ocean blue. Still the wailing continues while harbors turn to brown. They slaughter the dolphins, destruction all around. So to all destroyers, this message we do send. When we meet on the high seas, we'll take you on again. So we sail, so we sail the oceans, the earth from men to end. For the whales, for the whales and dolphins and all our water friends to protect to protect life's beauty we do what we must do on the proud on the proud sea shepherd we defend the ocean blue on the proud sea shepherd we defend
Thank you very much. So here I'll close with a song, one of my favorite Pete Seeger songs. This is called If I Had a Hammer. I have a feeling a lot of us know it. I'll uh, yell out a few of the words and it kind of keeps repeating itself so we'll, we can all sing it together. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the evening. All over this land I'd hammer out danger I'd hammer out danger I'd hammer out warning I'd hammer out warning The love between my brothers and my sisters I'd hammer out the love between My brothers and my sisters All over this land Ooh, now I've got a hammer And I've got a bell And I've got a song to sing all over this land It's the hammer of justice It's the bell of freedom It's a song about love between my brothers and my sisters All over this land It's the hammer of justice It's the bell of freedom It's a song about love between my brothers and my sisters All over this land (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. I'll sing you a song from my three-legged coyote CD that I meant to sing earlier. Life can be so painful when love has gone away when she's gone for good and I think I would have said all I had to say I want to live my life with you here by my side to walk the beach at morning nap at noon to fill your bowl at night when I would call She'd always come to me She shared my bed She'd always comfort me She was the best friend a man could ever know How I miss your dog Oh honey, how I miss your dog I feel so blue and I miss you too But I really miss your dog She was the best dog in the world Who had a darn good looking girl When we were in the mood We would eat her food And sprawl out on her floor I don't know what went wrong To make me sing this sad, sad song Each time I pass the place where you first licked my face I fear I can't go on We never once argued the night away She'd never leave I just had to say stay Your leash was long With you I could be me How I miss your dog Oh honey, how I miss your dog I feel so blue and I miss you too But I really miss your dog When I would call, she'd always come to me She shared my bed, she'd always comfort me She was the best friend a man could ever know Oh, how I miss your dog Oh, honey, how I miss your dog I feel so blue and I miss you too But I really miss your dog You know, I really miss your dog Come back to me and bring your dog
Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'll, I'll finish up with this uh, Daryl Cherney song. We're getting eaten by mosquitoes. We are just like mosquito fritos. They like to nibble on our noses. They do not care about our clothes. Because their mouths, they go right through them. Sometimes they even stop to chew them. We're getting eaten by mosquitoes. Mosquito party, ole! And when they nibble on your knuckles, it will not make you want to chuckle. And when they bite you on your ankle, it will not make you very thankful. And when they feast upon your forearms, they're gonna leave you with some sore arms. You're gonna wish you had two more arms. Mosquito party, ole, everybody! We're getting eaten by mosquitoes. Mosquito party, ole! And if you go out forest hiking, it will be greatly to their liking. And if you go out to the beach now, you'll always be within their reach now. If you're a loser or a winner, to a mosquito you're just dinner. And they're not getting any thinner. Mosquito party, ole! We're getting eaten by mosquitoes. We are just like mosquito fritos. They like to nibble on our noses. They do not care about our clothes. Because their mouths, they go right through them. Sometimes they even stop to chew them. We're getting eaten by mosquitoes. Mosquito party, ole! Mosquito party, ole! Mosquito party, ole! Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> this program is brought to you by the Vegetarian Society of Hawaii, a nonprofit organization dedicated to sharing with the community the many benefits of a vegetarian diet. Free monthly meetings include vegetarian experts found locally and on the mainland, quick and easy cooking demonstrations, and helpful and delicious food samples. Members enjoy an informative quarterly newsletter, social activities, and discounts at many vegetarian-friendly restaurants and health food stores. For an application, call 944-8344. That's 944-8344. Or visit our website at www.vsh.org. vsh.org.